Welcome to Why No One Calls Themselves a Mentalist. Yo, I'm Ryan O, Behavior Analyst and Creator, all things behavior analysis. We nerd out on psychology here, and today, mentalists. So what am I talking about? An approach to explaining behavior that assumes that a mental or inner dimension exists that differs from a behavioral dimension and that phenomena in this dimension either directly cause or at least mediate some forms of behavior, if not all. This is a small but profound philosophical position centered around dualism. The idea that there can be two worlds, one in which a certain set of rules or laws are in motion and another with different rules or laws in motion. For example, if I were to ask you how to hold someone accountable for a punishable offense, you have two ways to go about identifying the cause. A popular perspective is to try to get inside the mind of someone. That is, you speculate to this hypothetical variable that in fact we have never found. For over 2000 years, the mind has been referred to as a cause of why we do what we do, but it's never been found. That's just mind blowing, right? And I'll answer what a mind really is at the end of this video, but to get back to the point, sometimes people take correlates and infer the mind from them. So with our example of someone that committed a punishable offense, you perhaps even run some experiments at the biological level, such as MRIs, to identify if there is some abnormality. From this, it's easy to infer that something is there, like a mind, but this is simply a different level of science. That is, we call it biology, this level, and it has roots in some real natural things in the world around us, like blood flow changes, which is what we see with MRI. But we must be careful to never infer that this is something that actually isn't there and definitely not assign it causal properties when explaining human behavior. Remember, over 2000 years of searching and no evidence for this variable, this entity, this thing that apparently controls is called a mind, yet it's continually pushed as the explanation for everything that we do. This is where the Aaron Hernandez series wound up. If you've been watching that on Netflix, I watched it recently. Now opening the question of whether or not some internal difference was the cause of behavior is okay if you don't overstep into mentalistic realms. To be super clear, I'm not neglecting the biological level of study and its importance. The impacts that the world around us has on our biology can alter the way we interact with the world. After all, behavior is a part of the whole organism. So what's the issue? Well, it lies in that definition of mentalism, an approach to explaining behavior that assumes that a mental or inner dimension exists that differs from a behavioral dimension and that phenomenon in this dimension either directly cause or at least mediate some forms of behavior, if not all. So what are the exact mix of variables that influences our behavior? Well, it depends on the individual and the circumstances. Maybe the technology of the future will help us fully understand this question, but for the time being, alluding to hypothetical entities that have yet to be discovered is leading us nowhere and likely only halting progress that a holistic field theory view of behavior would provide. So why does no one call themselves a mentalist? Because this belief in a dualistic world that controls our behavior is the zeitgeist. It always has been. Labeling something doesn't mean it changes it, but educating and continually questioning and improving a conceptualization based on data does. I implore you to explore what a naturalistic approach to psychology would provide for your analysis of why we do what we do. You don't have to agree, but it's worth checking out. Learn more at the links below. This video is brought to you by people like you, patrons, people that support my efforts financially. For three years now, I have spent time and lost money, yes, lost money, creating these videos because I think they are important. This field is important and there are important people doing important things that need to be heard by people like you. So if this is something that you're for, consider supporting me on Patreon. It's linked below at the very top as well. Oh, and the mind. It's a term that describes our self-talk due to a history of interacting with others and the world around us. Simply said, it's a language. That's it. At least that's what I've been taught. I hope you learned something. Like, share, subscribe, it actually makes a difference. And if you can support me through Patreon, it's the top link reminder below. That's your daily BA.